I don't know, my queen. I don't think you should leave the galaxy, especially to go to Earth. It is so primitive still, even though they have technology. I suggest you wait longer. No one cares what you think, Endros. If I wanted your opinion, I would have asked for it. I am going to Earth because I know that my mate is there, the one true love, pure of heart and good-natured, and I will find him. Please forgive me, my queen. A thousand apologies. I will prepare your ship. No, you won't. You're done. You should know better than to ever question your queen. Won't do that again, will you? Trenton! Trenton, it's your mother. You better answer me. I know you're on that gravity bike. You know I hate that thing. Um, sorry. Um, I didn't hear you at first. Uh, I'm almost home. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm wearing my helmet. Well, I highly doubt that you're wearing your helmet. Now, get home right now. And try to find your sister. She's probably with your friend Tommy again. Okay, Mom, I'll try to find her. Look at me, I don't want to get in trouble with your mom. I mean, she really doesn't like me for some reason. I have no idea why. Gee, I don't know, Tommy. Could it be because you're so much trouble? Well, now, Amelia, you're going to get me in a lot of trouble. I will see you later tonight, right? I've got to go. My parents are looking for me. Yeah, yeah, i got to go, too. My brother's looking for me. I'll see you tonight. Mom, why do you have to ruin everything? So, the ship's in pretty good shape. I got a full diagnostic on it, so we should be ready to go any time. Yeah, if my brother Tommy would get here, I swear Trent's sister is really a distraction for him. Ah, oh, come on, Dex. You remember when you were young and in love? Give him a break. Yeah, I remember, which is why I don't want him to be an idiot. So, he needs to get here. I'm gonna go call him again. Man, this is what makes me so glad I'm an only child. None of the problems. So, oh, Trenton, did you enjoy your little bike ride today? And are you ready for work? Oh, I hate that bike. Why did you even let him get it? And of course he's ready for work, but he's my baby. And I hate that he's going off to work already. Please, Mom, he's only your baby by five minutes. We're twins. And how come you didn't get this concern when I started work? Sweetie, we never have to worry about you. Your brother, on the other hand, can get a little absent-minded. Sorry, son. Cool, Dad, I get it. You guys don't think I'm responsible, but I'm telling you, I'm going to do great on this job. I'm going to do what I'm told. I'm going to be fine. Please, Trent, and I give you five minutes before you either get fired or in trouble. All right, you two. On that note, I'm going to get up and go to work. Me too. Anybody need a ride? Thanks, Mom. We're fine. Tommy's on his way. Oh, I don't know about that boy. You be safe. Wow, Mom really does not like Tommy. What did he ever do to her? Please, just wait till you bring a girl home. Mom's never going to approve of anybody that we like. So, Trisha, is it me or is this job lame? They always give us the stuff that's boring. When are we going to get to see some action? I'm a pilot, not a transporter. Uh, actually, Cassie, we are transporters who happen to be pilots. But don't worry, once a war breaks out or something, we'll be able to fly for real. Oh my god, I forgot how happy you are in the morning. I need coffee. I cannot deal with that right now. Oh, Cassie, you're always so funny. That's why I love hanging out with you. You're just so weird. And wait for me. I've never tried coffee, but why not? All right, guys, let's discuss the business at hand. We've got an assignment over on Jupiter. Shouldn't take us very long. It's going to be pretty easy peasy. So for you newbies, it'll be just fine. Yeah, let's just hope some of us keep bothering to show up to work. It's nice to see you make an appearance, bro. Look, Dex, I'm sorry. I apologize. I didn't mean to be late. It wasn't my fault. Please, Tommy, we all know whose fault it was. You need to prioritize. All right, guys, that's enough. Come on, I don't want any brotherly squabbles here. We're about to land. Oh, well, can I just say that I'm glad to be working here? I mean, even with all the drama. Yeah, Trenton, well, thanks for that. Okay, how about we all get some work done?
Oh, this is going to be an interesting crew. I mean, seriously, Trisha, I don't know what her deal is. Why doesn't she like Tommy? He is like the greatest guy ever. I know, right? You guys are totally cute together. I don't get your mom. Yeah, believe me, Trisha, nobody gets my mom. Yeah, well, are you going to come to Red Shots tonight? It's going to be fun. Yeah, sure, I guess so. Tommy asked me if I wanted to come, so yeah, I'll be there. Good, because this is going to be so much fun. I think this is going to be a great night. Whoa, who is that? Come on, Dex, stop being so hard on the kid. I think he did pretty good for his first day. Oh, Ryan, you'll never get it. You don't have siblings. Do not go easy on my brother. The boys are here at the bar, so do you want me to go so that he can, Dex can sit here and I'll go at the bar with Ryan? Or what? Sure, Trisha, go ahead. Just tell Dex I'll be over there in a minute. So my mom is completely insane, so I don't care what she thinks. Okay? Don't worry about it. I actually don't get why your mom don't like me. I mean, I understand why my brother don't like me, because we only have the same dad, not the same mom, so... That is why I like you, Tommy. You're a good guy. I know it. Doesn't matter what my mom thinks. Now, come on. You want to get out of here? Hi, I hope you don't mind me just walking over here, but somebody as cute as you should not be drinking alone. Oh, thanks for that. Uh, I'm Trenton. Are you new to Earth? Oh yeah, you can definitely say that. And I'm Emma. It's nice to meet you, Emma. How about I buy you a drink? Well, all in all, I think their new recruits are going to work out, but I don't want to bore you with that, honey. I mean, I thought we were supposed to be just here talking about us. Oh, Ryan, you could never bore me. Besides, we're in the same line of work. But, yeah, you're right. It is supposed to be about us. Just hope my crew can get along. Uh, here I go again. I'm sorry, hon. It's okay. You wouldn't be a good boss if you weren't concerned. Besides, that's why I love you. So, I know I'm going to hate this for asking, but how'd it go with your brother? When is I predicted, anyway? I guess he did all right. I just... His mom coddles him too much, and my dad lets him get away with murder. Guess it must be nice to be the baby. I guess, but at least you didn't have to deal with Happy Girl today. Thank God she went with Amelia, because I would have lost my frickin' mind. The new girl, Emma, seems to be okay. She's a little weird, though. Yeah, well, right now, all I want to do is go to bed and get ready for tomorrow, because we're going to have to do this all over again. Are you sure it's okay that we're here? I mean, this is uh, your friend Cassie's house, right? I mean, ain't your mom going to worry? No, silly, because I told her I was staying at my friend Cassie's house. I just didn't tell her you were staying. Okay, well, I guess that's something I can get behind. Just don't want to get in trouble with your mama. Let's not talk about her or worry about her, huh? Yes, ma'am, I can agree with that. <laughs> Everything is going to be worth it once I get Trenton into my bed. Then I'll have my true love and my mate for life. And no one better stand in my way. I hope this restaurant is okay. Uh, my parents used to come here all the time. I figured it'd be great for a first date. Oh no, Trenton, it's very good. It's perfect, even. All I need is to be with you. Welcome to Cam's Bistro. I'm Melissa. How can I serve you today? Let me recommend that we have a special salmon a la main. So it's really good. It's got really good seasonings on it, and everybody loves it. Oh, Melissa, that sounds great. I mean, if that's okay with you, Emma. Of course, Trenton. That sounds wonderful. Okay, then. I will go put that order in. Okay, Trenton, tell me all about yourself and your family. I'm very curious. Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm a twin. My sister's Amelia. She's pretty cool. 
we get along okay. I mean, we rib each other, but that's what twins and siblings do. My dad's a chief of police, and my mom's a lawyer. So pretty kind of boring, but they're okay. Wow, it's nice to have a sister. I don't have any family. I was on my own. That's why I came here to Earth. I am Beltran, but um, this place is really nice, and it seems to fit me quite well. So I think I'm going to live here for a while. Wow, Veltran, that sounds interesting. I don't know much about him. My parents, we never left the planet, but Tommy's pretty familiar with a lot of off-world, so I'll have to ask him about that. And why did you pick to work for the company of all people? I picked them because they say around here it's the best place to work and it pays the most money. So, And then I wouldn't have met you if I hadn't, so it's a plus. Okay, Trenton, spill. I want to know what happened on your date. How is Emma? Because the other girl said she was kind of weird, but... I want your opinion. Hey, Amelia. First of all, she's not weird. They're probably just saying that because she's from another world. She's actually amazing. We're going out again to hang out on the beach. She's never seen sand or a beach before. How weird is that? Hmm, that's interesting. Where did you say she was from? She's Viltrean, actually. So, do you know anything about them? No, actually, but I can ask around. Some of the other girls might know. Yeah, I'm thinking about asking Tommy. I mean, when we were in school, he was into a lot of off-world stuff. He was always reading books about other worlds, so he might know something. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he does. Speaking of Tommy, you two are getting awful close. Does Mom know? No, and don't you dare tell her. I'll keep your secret about your new girlfriend. You keep my secret. Got it? Yeah, okay. I gotta get to work anyway. I'll talk to you later. Mmm, so, we had a late night. Hope you're not going to be late for work. Or you could totally skip it and stay here. Ah, uh, Cassie, as much as I'd love to, I have to watch my brother and the other new kid. Plus, I mean, I can't just leave my job. I'm sorry, babe. Okay, fine. Be that way. I guess I have to go to work, too, then. Look, I promise to come home straight after work. Then I'm all yours. Yeah, I'm definitely holding you to that. Chief, I don't know what to make of this. This is a mess. Who could do all of this? Oh, Lieutenant, but whoever they are, they're not human. And I will get to the bottom of this. I will find justice for these people. Just got the news. I'm here representing the company. Darling, what's going on? Our children work here. Are they even safe? Do everything I can, sweetheart, to protect our kids. But right now, I don't know what I'm dealing with. So we may want to talk to them tonight. Oh, yes, Trenton. Now you belong to me forever, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. Uh, Emma, morning. What time is it? Oh, it's mid-morning. You look so peaceful, I wanted to let you sleep. Oh, crap, mid-morning? I'm late for work. I I'm sorry, Emma, I gotta go. Don't worry, Trenton, I completely understand. We'll see each other later, right? Yes, Emma, absolutely, we'll see each other later. I, I really gotta go. Hey, don't even worry about it. They didn't even notice you was late, so I just said you were out in the shipping yard, so you're covered. Don't worry about it. So what happened? You and Emma, last night? Yeah, Tommy, I don't know about Veltran girls, but that was intense. She is amazing. Oh, now, did you say Veltran girls? Oh, man, and you slept with her? Crap, they make for life, Trenton. I'm sorry, what? Made for life? My mom's going to freak out. What do you mean? you got to tell me everything. I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, but they're a very violent and dangerous race. And if you reject her, she's going to try to kill you, or you're going to have to kill her. I mean, they're not, there's not a lot of them left. Wow, my God, this can't be happening. What the hell am I supposed to do, Tommy? I mean, I like Emma, but I don't know if I'm in love with her. And if she tries to kill me, what am I supposed to do? Crap. The other thing I forgot to mention, they can sense your thoughts. We got a problem. Wait, what? What are you talking about? Oh my god. Emma? Brenton, you will never leave me! I'm not letting you go! Emma, please, stop. We can talk about this. Don't hurt anyone. Right, my love, we can, but not here.
told you, Trenton. There's no escaping me. You're coming with me now. You're mine forever, Trenton. Who are you, though? Why do I feel like I should know him? I sense something familiar about you. I have figured out later. Time to go.